What's up y'all? Got a little bit of something different here today. We actually got a uh, a gun equipment, I guess you want to say, video, a little review here. We're looking at the Competition Electronics Pro Chrono DLX Chronograph. And uh, as I'm sure everybody knows, what the purpose of this is, is to measure your bullet speed. Uh, something I, I'm, I'm really into this. I'm, I'm into the nerdy gun stuff, the technical side of things. So I, I really always, always wanted to get one of these to measure different velocities of different types of ammo in the same gun, or, or the same ammo in different barrel lengths, different types of guns. So something I always wanted to get. I, I, I make some use it in a lot of my videos here. Um, now some people don't care nothing about this. I know it bores them to death, but I, I think it's really interesting. Uh, but anyway, I paid 139 bucks for this. It comes with the chronograph, obviously. Obviously, it comes with your instruction book, comes with your, your four guide rods that go into your slots here, and then it also comes with your diffusers, your light diffusers, as all these things are. Uh, and this thing actually basically it works through for, for a shadow of your projectile going across these two photo sensors. So um, it actually works a little bit better in overcast or cloudy type of days where you don't have a sun glaring and making reflections and, and goofing up your little photo sensors there. So that's why they, they give you these two diffusers on a really sunny, really, really bright day. You'll put those guide rods in and this thing's so big now I ain't gonna be able to keep it in the, in the whole screenshot. Y'all have to y'all have to forgive me, but Basically on a real sunny where you got glare you put your guide rods and then you just put that diffuser over the top And it basically keeps that real black glare and light it diffuses the light <laughs> as the name says so that's what you get there uh, Pretty neat little deal uh, It runs on a nine one nine volt battery put it in the bottom there It's also got a nice little tripod mount just a standard camera tripod mount to put it on so somewhere to set it and shoot it uh, like I say, on overcast days, you don't even need to use these diffusers whatsoever. So there's that. Uh, got a lot of different little features in it. Uh, obviously, the main thing you can see gave me an error there because moving it and that light shining and all that. But uh, the main thing it's going to do, you're going to want to see the speed of your bullets in it. Now, uh, this thing's accurate plus or minus 0.5%, so pretty accurate. The total range on it is anywhere from 20 feet per second to 9,999 feet per second. So you can shoot anything from a BB gun to pretty much the most powerful rifle most people's gonna have on them. So, uh, got that. You can measure feet per second or meters per second if you wanna do meters per second for some reason. It holds nine strings of 99 shots, meaning nine different sessions or guns or different ammos, what, what you could kinda of think of those as. But, so basically it holds right at, uh, holds right at what? Almost 900 shots total, so there's that. Uh, it's got several different little features it runs through. Uh, one cool thing I really like about it is you can see it's still got this reading. Now, I took this out to the range the other day. I'm recording this part of it after I've already tested it. But you can turn it off completely, even take the battery out, and it's still going to store all your settings in there if you hadn't cleared them off. So that's a really neat thing. Uh, now, this thing, the DLX designation, that, that uh, designates that it's Bluetooth enabled, so they have little phone apps, uh, or you can use it with a Bluetooth laptop, as you see I got here. Now, I hadn't tried out the phone app because my phone's older than dirt, man. It's about 9, 10 years old. I'm not one who lives on my phone. All I do is text and, and, uh, and uh, make phone calls, so I hadn't upgraded my phone. I, I probably need to, but I'm, I'm just one of them guys who don't do nothing with his phone, man. I much prefer a laptop or a regular PC, so... Uh, as you can see, I've got it. I've got it hooked on to the pit, to my laptop there, and that way you could take your laptop, set it on your shooting bench, and then don't have to walk back and forth and look at this if you can't see it. But like I say, it's got several different things that, that it'll show. Uh, you can delete a shot in a certain string. You can delete the whole string if you want for some reason. Redisplay if if it's not showing what you wanted to see. Uh, string change means go back and forth to a different string if you wanted to record them in a whole different set. And then your review button just basically scrolls backwards. So it's going to scroll through all the shots. There were four shots in that string. So there's the first one. Then after you get through that, it's going to show you your high shot, your high speed in that string. Then it's going to show you your lowest speed in that string. Then it's going to show you your average speed of all the shots in that string. It's going to show you what they call the extreme spread, which obviously that's the highest speed minus the lowest speed, the biggest difference in between them. And then you're going to have a standard deviation. What the standard deviation is basically a calculation made uh, that's going to tell you how many, how what percent of the shots in that string are going to fall within a certain range using certain calculations. So pretty neat stuff. It shows you all that stuff on there. So you can get a lot of info off of that. Um, 
and over here on the on the laptop you can see it's got the same thing i don't know how well y'all be able to see it on the on this video but shows you the same exact information and all that's in real time so it shows all my shots the speeds of the shots and how many of there was extreme spread again standard deviations got them in a little graph form down there so that's pretty nice another cool thing is if for some reason you didn't have your laptop with you and then you got home and you wanted them on the laptop to look at all of them on the same screen you can actually transfer the information over from here onto the laptop as long as you hadn't cleared it off so pretty good a lot of nice little cool features on that i like it a lot man um uh, like i say i'm i'm into the i'm into the whole nerdy side of the gun thing so it'll be something i use a lot to test out different ammo and different weapons and things like that but i got some range footage here showing y'all tests with a few different weapons so uh we'll wrap this chit chat bench top uh, talk up and uh we'll go over to the range with it all right y'all got this thing set up down there we're gonna uh i'm gonna shoot it from about 10 15 feet or 10 or 12 15 feet uh, that's what it recommends First thing we're doing is the 9mm uh, polymer 80, so just some FMJ ball out of it. Let's see if this thing's doing what it's supposed to be doing. Eleven eighty-four. Alright, okay, alright, it's doing its thing. We'll put a few different shots. Eleven forty-eight. Eleven seventy five. Eleven seventy two. Eleven sixty seven. All right, so it seems like it's doing its thing. Let's switch to a different gun and uh, let's go from there. All right, the next one we're gonna try out is uh one of these AR pistols here. This is my Virginia fifteen. Uh, Y'all might have seen this in one in my little meme lower collection video. If you can check that out, if you hadn't, um, this is a ten and a half inch barrel pistol, AR pistol, five five six chambered. So we're gonna try this one out. Uh, I know a lot of this might bore some people to death, man, but it seems to be working good. I like this. That way I can test different loads because you know what they say on the box ain't never the truth. So anyway, let's get this one. See what we get out of this one. Ten and a half inch AR pistol, regular old. Uh, this is just 55 grain regular M193 ball. Uh, I don't know if we got anything on that. Let's let's try that again. There we go, 25.96. That's right. That's that's what we look for. We see that's a ten and a half inch barrel, so you're losing a little velocity because this is when and plus this ammo, like I say, they rate it more than it actually is. They they call this like 3100, but it ain't even out of a 16 and a half inch. So let's see the next one. 2637. That thing's rocking that camera right there as it goes by it on top of the thing. All right, let's try one more. 2624. 2607. Straighten you back up there. Getting you getting you a little off target. 26. Do one more. 2649. Alright. So that one that one seemed like it's working good too. Let's switch to another. Let's switch to another weapon. All right, got us a new one here. This one, we're going to go with the little bar keep on this one. We're going to chew some 22 Magnums out of this. I'm sure y'all have seen this little thing. These things are claiming 2,200 feet per second on the box. But now, of course, that's out of a much bigger barrel, I'm sure. And, and I'm sure they, oh, they're overestimating it, too. So, all right, let's see what she does. I didn't read that one, I don't think. Let's see, let's try that again. 1279, so that's a far cry from 2200. All right, I should, I should have one more in there. 1261, I'm pretty sure that was it because we only had three and I, one of them didn't read. That was it, all right. So, I, I mean, that really ain't bad, I guess. Almost 1,300 feet per second out of a little two and a half inch barrel. So, let's switch to a, switch to another one here. Let's see what we get. 
All right, next up, Glock 20, uh, 10 millimeter. This is uh, this is just some uh, full metal jacket. I think it's that Cellier and below. I, I'm pretty sure it is. Got four, got four rounds in this one. Let's see, let's see what this one does. Thousand fifty-five. That's almost dead on. I'm pretty sure this stuff was rated for a thousand fifty something. All right, so let's let's do another one. Thousand fifty-two, man. They right on right there, buddy. So far, this is actually the closest to to box advertisement. Well, we can't can't really count that barkeep, and of course the nine millimeter. It was right on. So, I guess I, I guess I can't really say that. That was a duplicate, so that means it's the same again. Dow thousand fifty-two. And 1,050, so that's some pretty consistent ammo out of this gun right there. That was that Cellier and below, just full metal jacket out of the Glock 20, 10 millimeter. All right, we're going to do one more, and then we're going to call it after that one. All right, y'all, last one. This is the, uh, obviously, this is the Palmetto State Armory PSAK 47 GF3 version. Uh, we're just shooting some good old steel case tool ammo, full metal jacket out of it. Uh, this is not, uh, it's not, it doesn't have SP, FPS on the box on it, so let's see what we get. Twenty three eighty one. All right, all right. Twenty three thirty. Twenty two seventy. And twenty three fifty two. All right, all right, y'all. That's where we're gonna end it right there, man. Uh, it looks like we're getting ready to get rained on out here, so I got to get my butt in and get these guns out. I mean, I got guns and stuff laying all over the place out here, so uh, it was a nice day most of the day. It's, it's still a nice day right now. The weather's real nice, but uh, this one's this is pretty fun for me, man. I love stuff like this. I love the technical end of it, and I figured that that thing right there would be good for um, just testing different ammos out, different lengths and barrels and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So I hope this one didn't bore too bore y'all to death too much, because I I know this one probably put somebody to sleep. But uh, like I say, I love stuff like this, man. I love just seeing the different different side of guns and ammo and stuff like that but i appreciate every one of y'all watching again y'all know I, I i appreciate the heck out if i hadn't said it if i hadn't said it 10 times already i'll say it again i really appreciate y'all watching if y'all do like these again hit that like button hit the thumbs up man uh leave me a comment down below make sure you subscribe definitely but uh had a good time out here again today man i always do it, it, if it's got anything to do with guns i'm all in it you know what i'm saying so yeah, again, y'all hit that subscribe button. Uh, we'll, we got more stuff coming. I got plenty of stuff to edit up, but y'all stay safe, stay prepared, and I will see y'all in the next one.